the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you made this holy night shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that here on earth, we may walk in the light of Jesus' presence. And in the last day, wake to the brightness of his glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Sisters and brothers, friends in Christ, grace be unto you and peace on this most holy night. In the name of God the Father, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the newborn King. Amen. As it is for many of you, I know, this children's Christmas Eve service is one of my favorite moments in the year at Grace, and, and frankly, in the year, period. It's such a joy to gather with hundreds of people in this room, to see the children, to listen to the music, the beautiful carols of our faith, to add our own voices to the song. But as much as there is to listen to, I also love this service because of all that there is to watch. Candles flickering in the darkness, children processing as the cross forms in front of our eyes, young children bringing wrapped gifts to present to the baby Jesus. And I love in this moment when I give my homily, looking out and seeing all of your faces festive with Christmas cheer. And now instead, in this moment, I'm in this room almost all alone, watching a camera two months ahead of the time when you will watch me from the comfort of your own home once Christmas Eve has finally arrived. Now, I thought about not mentioning the, the time delay between uh, me speaking these words and you hearing them. I thought about pretending to be in the moment, but in 2020, we know that too many things have happened, too many things happen too quickly, that it's impossible for me to pretend that I have any sense of what life or the world, our nation, our community, our church will look like on December 24th. Will a vaccine have been found? Or has the pandemic worsened? I do not know in this moment who has been elected to be the President of the United States. I do know that during the long nights of 2020, we have seen so many bad things lost and missed out on so many things we love. And it would bring us great joy to be able to watch together tonight. But we do, and we are. For across both space and time, you and I are joined tonight in the holy watching about which we hear in the second chapter of the Gospel according to Luke of those shepherds who were keeping watch over their flocks by night, just like they had throughout the years, night after night, the same regularity, the same pattern in the same darkness, until in the midst of their watching, they beheld something new. As the angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they heard the voice, do not be afraid, for unto you is born this night in the city of David, a Savior, the Messiah, Christ the Lord. And while they were watching, that one angel was joined by the heavenly host, the multitude of angels, glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace among those people whom God favors. And in that watching on that night to which we are joined this night, the one for whom the world had watched and waited, finally appeared. God, enfleshed in this newly born baby Jesus, gifted to Mary and Joseph and the shepherds and the wise men and the angels and all people across all times and places as Messiah, Savior, Lord, I don't know what happens between the time I speak these words and you hear them, but I know that whatever we've seen, whatever our watching has brought before our eyes, it has been transformed and transfigured by the presence of Christ who was born into this world 2,000 years ago and still dwells with us, 
the fullness of God's love and mercy and grace revealed and gifted to us, that most precious gift that you receive again tonight, the very incarnate God we worship. So friends, wherever you are, whatever has happened, whatever anxieties are still out there, however dark it might seem, remember that because of this night, what the shepherd saw long ago, what you and I see tonight, that we see now always the light that shines in the darkness, a light that cannot be overcome, for it is Jesus Christ himself in our presence. God's salvation has appeared, friends, for you and for me in front of our eyes. Come and see, and then, like the shepherds, go and tell. Merry Christmas. Be well, friends. You are loved. And now may the peace that passes our own human understanding keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus this day and forever. Amen. God tells sinful Adam and Eve that they have lost the life of paradise and that their offspring will bruise the serpent's head. Adam and Eve heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze, and the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. The Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you are naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all mortal flesh keep silence, and with fear and trembling. 
God promises to faithful Abraham that in his offspring shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this and have now withheld your son, your only son. I will indeed bless you, and I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of heaven, and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of their enemies, and by your offspring shall all the nations of the earth gain blessing for themselves, because you have obeyed my voice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The prophet foretells the coming of the Savior. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there will be endless peace. For the throne of David and his kingdom, he will establish and uphold it, with justice and with righteousness, from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the peace that Christ will bring is foreshown. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me, one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel. And he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be the one of peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Angel Gabriel salutes the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy, and he will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
St. Luke tells of the birth of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The shepherds go to the manger. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, 
which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. wise men are led by a star to Jesus. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and we have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, And Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler, who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men, and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
St. John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh, and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Let us pray. Almighty God, your radiance shines forth and renews your people on this most holy night. Make us mindful of our calling to be faithful stewards of all you have given us. Have mercy on our enemies. Help those who are homeless or hungry. And bless all who seek you. Open our hearts to receive the gift of your love, which is made known in your only Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May you be filled with the wonder of Mary, the obedience of Joseph, the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the determination of the Magi, and the peace of the Christ child. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen.